हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम राम हरे हरे आई ऑफर माई हम्बल अबेज टू ऑल दैष्णवीज ऑन लाइन thank you for giving me this opportunity to serve you and please accept my humble apologies for the delay in the start uh, like i said our plane was 50 minutes late anyway here we are please give me your blessings i was particularly meditating on this verse because it is so instructive for our spiritual life and therefore i chose to uh, share it with you so this is a very famous verse actually and it is in the fifth chapter of the bhagavad gita it goes like this yahi samsparsha ya bhoga dukkayone evate adiyantavanta kaunteya nateshu ramate budaha translation and purport by his divine grace shila prabhupad an intelligent person does not take part in the sources of misery which are due to contact with the material senses O oh, son of Kunti, such pleasures have a beginning and an end, and so the wise man does not delight in them. Very beautiful purport by Shri Lakshmi. Material sense pleasures are due to contact of the material senses, which are all temporary, because the body itself is temporary. A liberated soul is not interested in anything which is temporary, knowing well the joys of transcendental pleasures. Sorry, of transcendental pleasures. How can a knowing well the joys of transcendental pleasure? How can a liberated soul agree to enjoy false pleasure? In the Padma Purana, it is stated, "Ramante yogi no nante jagyanante chidatmani iti Rama pade na so param Brahma vidyate." the mystics derive unlimited transcendental pleasures from the absolute truth and therefore the supreme absolute truth the personality of godhead is also known as ram in the shrimad bhagavatam also 551 it is stated nayam deho deha bhajandri loke prashtan kaman arhate vidhujam ye तपो दिव्य पुत्र कायेनाथ्यंतनाथ्यंतनाथ्यंतनाथ्यंतनाथ्यंतनाथ्यंतनाथ्यंतनाथ्यंतनाथ्यंतनाथ्यंतनाथ्यंतनाथ्यंतन
And even within this human form of life, 400,000 species, 400,000 in number, very few are civilized human beings. And among the civilized human beings, there are very few who are and trying to understand the divine, the absolute truth. And then among those who are trying to understand, very rarely one comes across a bona fide spiritual master who will teach the student the laws of God, the principles of religion, and how to go back to the kingdom of God. So what a rare opportunity we have been given in this lifetime by being given the gift of transcendental service by Srila Prabhupada, by our spiritual masters. And why it is so important to value this gift? Because this will take us out of the cycle of repeated birth and death and repeatedly trying to enjoy sense pleasures without knowing the real goal of life. The classic example is the donkey, the carrot, and the stick. You know, the donkey thinks, okay, one more lunge and I will get the carrot. One more try and I will get the carrot. And this is the way Maya allures us and keeps alluring us she presents her allurements very well. You know, you actually think, wow, I think I'll be so happy once I go for this. And then after we have gone in for sense pleasure, you find it comes to an end. How long can we enjoy whatever the material world has to offer us? It comes to an end. Once the temporary situation of happiness is over, then we are again looking for the next fix because the nature of the soul is to seek happiness. It is natural for us to seek happiness. It is natural to want love. Every soul being eternally part and parcel of Krishna wants a perfect relationship of perfect happiness and perfect love. But this perfect happiness and perfect love is not available on the material platform. <laughs> it is only available in relationship with Krishna on the transcendental platform. So what, what is the most important thing we must understand is, yes, now that I have come to devotional service, how can I absolutely make sure that I'm not falling back down again? For that regulated sense gratification is important because we need some sense pleasure. Otherwise the senses will not leave us alone. They'll torment us. The ascetics and the, you know, the, the penance balas they fall down after some time because they are not able to keep up with austerities. Mere austerities is not going to help us because mere austerities, because the soul doesn't find any joy in just uh, severe austerities. There must be a loving connection. And that is what we get through bhakti yoga, the ananda, the bliss and the nectar for which the soul is hankering and longing and desiring so much comes when we reconnect with Krishna in loving service. It's not available on any other platform. We try and we have tried so many times. We have tried to gratify our senses by eating, by sleeping, by mating, by defending, by acquiring things, by getting more things, by getting more and more things, by trying to get fame, name, position, glamour, rich uh, wealth, beauty, high parentage, influence, power. We have tried all these things in so many lifetimes. And what has it given us? Another birth, another lifetime of having to undergo the same things that we have done in so many previous lifetimes with the end result that what happens? Old age, diseases, and death. That's the end result for each and every one of those lives. So what did we achieve? Maybe we were very, very, very big man or a big woman. Okay, maybe I was the prime minister of Israel or something like that. But what happens in the end? I'm buried and put down in the ground and the worms and uh, germs eat all my flesh and bones and everything and nothing is left of that material person known as president or prime minister of Israel. My soul has left and gone to another place and it has nothing to do with the previous life. We may just get somewhere else where we have no connection for whom we taught with the people, for whom we toiled so much, for whom we labored so hard, for whom we did so many things. I made this big house for you. I made this big swimming pool. I made this big garden. I, I put aside a huge amount of my salary as bank balance for you to have a good education. Now we are not denying that we should take care of our dependents. That's very important. That's the point I want to stress. 
that we cannot escape our responsibilities. We have to carry out our responsibilities, but it must be understood that this is just my duty and I should do it with detachment because these people belong to Krishna. They have been sent into my life to care for them, shower them with love and affection, provide for their needs, but they are not mine. I do not possess them. They are Krishna's and they have been sent to me, so I have to take care of them. But if we get too entangled in running after the sense pleasures or running after getting goods of this world, then our concentration, our absorption will be in the material energy. We'll constantly be trying to get some pleasure out of this energy here and we will be sabotaging our spiritual life. So there's a warning that comes. Please do not do the activities which stool eaters, hogs and dogs do, which means they are only absorbed in sense pleasure. Now we, again, as I qualified before, we do need some sense pleasure because we won't be able to carry on in this life. We can say, I'm spirit soul. I will not eat food. <laughs> we have to eat food. So what kind of food we eat? We eat Krishna Prashadam. We eat sanctified food that is lovingly cooked and offered to the Lord. We have to drink. We have to sleep. We have to mate. We have to have some griha. I have to have some place to live. So we acquire all these things. But in the spirit of service, with constantly reminding ourselves, Pishavashyam idam sarvam. We keep that principle in mind only as much as I need. As Mahatma Gandhi said very famously, there's enough in this world for everyone's need, but not for everyone's greed. So we want to stay away from lust, anger, greed, illusion, pride, envy, fear, all these things because they entangle us. Why do we say avoid all these things, dear spirit soul? Because they are causes of entanglement again in the material energy. As um, you know, King Rishabdev also tells his sons, you know, who derives unlimited pleasure? Those who rejoice in their relationship with the absolute truth. Now, those of you who were here this weekend with Guru Maharaj, what unlimited bliss there was in Kirtan, isn't it? <laughs> Anuradha is laughing here. <laughs> they both yes. in the air. <laughs> and everyone, believe you me, everyone. And some people were like really elderly and they had health issues. Normally they wouldn't even stand up for a long time. They were joining in, in the dancing, big smiles on everyone's face and everybody was just lost in the bliss of Sankirtan. This is the real happiness the soul wants and it is there available in the chanting of the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So, what I want to say, dear spirit souls, is we are not meant to suffer here. We are not meant to go on like this, you know, getting tangled up in the material energy and trying to get a fix here and get a fix there. No, we have now received this wonderful gift of bhakti. Bhakti is the topmost yoga system. It is called buddhi yoga also sometimes. It is meant for the intelligent class of people. Srila Prabhupada said, this movement is meant for the intelligent class of people so that they can take to this path, make their lives perfect and come back home, back to Godhead. And there's unlimited bliss, unlimited joy, unlimited love. And the soul which longs for complete freedom and unlimited happiness and unlimited joy is now completely free to love Krishna to the maximum, to the max. Now, in this limited material body, even if we want to serve Krishna, we cannot, right? After some time, we get tired. Oh, I need to sleep. Oh, I need to eat. Oh, I need to do this. But in the spiritual world, every soul is alive with joy and love for Krishna. And there are no limitations. I can serve Krishna unlimitedly. And there's no concept of time. It's not like I will do this 24-7 because there's no 24-7. <laughs> there's only infinity. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's the mm. spiritual world, dear spirit souls. And that's our real home. That's where we belong. Where every step is a dance. Every word is a song. And every day is a festival of joy in loving Krishna to the max. 
so let us always keep that goal in mind let us never lose sight of that goal and how do we reach that kingdom of god by carefully following the process of bhakti yoga by carefully following the instructions of the spiritual master who has given us the process of how to carry out a loving service to krishna and we can all take part in the sankirtan movement we can feel great joy and bliss by chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare and the soul starts reviving its beautiful eternal connection with krishna which has always been there it is now just covered over by layers of conditioning by layers by billions of years of contact with the material energy we just heard how all of them chiti sharti mata ji bhuta bhavana prabhu i'm not sure if you can see us properly i think we should turn this way and uh, the face this way and uh, we heard all about you know billions of lifetimes we have spent with the material energy but huh yeah. we don't have the camera um, we have the camera we have the camera billions of years oh, we have spent in the material energy for us to to go back home in one lifetime can you imagine in one lifetime we can make it all the way back home back to godhead completely canceling out these miss billions and billions of years that we have spent in so many lifetimes in various different universes and believe you me we have we have been a brahma and we have been an ant in fact we just heard in the class that when you fell down from the spiritual world and first came to the material world your first post is brahma so you all were brahma at one point imagine that and then from that position you can either go back up or you keep going down and the very fact that we are all here is we all went down <laughs> right we all went down but now by this process of bhakti yoga we can reconnect to krishna through the spiritual master and how do we approach the spiritual master with submissive inquiry with humble service right nitad vidhi pranipate na pari prashne na sevaya upadekshanti te gyana gyani na tatva darshina ha just try to learn the truth by approaching a spiritual master inquire from him submissively and render service unto him the self realized soul can impart knowledge unto you because they have seen the truth so these great souls are not of this world they are completely transcendental and they come down to this material world simply on the mission of the lord to reclaim the conditioned soul and take them back to godhead so how lucky we are how fortunate we are how blessed we are how unbelievably um, you know fortunate fortunate <laughs> yes thank you anuradha fortunate we are that the pure devotee of the lord has come down to save us and we have received the mercy of shila prabhupad through our spiritual master his holiness chandramali swami and all of you who were here you must be you know still floating in the bliss of the retreat <laughs> still on cloud 9 somewhere you know just thinking about all the wonderful exchanges so many loving exchanges with so many devotees so many hugs and so many heartfelt sentiments and so much shared um, joy you know we can't in isolation we cannot enjoy we cannot enjoy we need relationship we need each other is only nis radhanath maharaj says at the end of the day all we have is each other i mean here you know while we are here so uh, taking part in this process of bhakti yoga following the instructions of the spiritual master carefully carefully chanting our rounds early morning with full attention absorption devotion surrender in all humility like a child crying out for the mother in a mood of humble servitude saying my dear lord my dear energy of the lord please engage me in your devotional service please help me to come back to you because this is who i really am i am your eternal servitor yet somehow the other have fallen into this horrible ocean of birth and death please pick me up from this ocean of birth and death and place me as one of the atoms of dust at your lotus feet is the shikshashtakam prayer shikshashtakam yeah fifth one ainanda tanuja kinkaram patitam vaam vishame bhavam budav 
कृपया तव पाद पंकजा सीता दुली सदृशम विचिंतया Please pick me up and place me as an atom of dust at your lotus feet. Help me to finish this cycle of repeated birth and death that I have repeatedly undergone. Simply trying to get a little fix here, a little fix there, and a little of this and a little. You know, we have been running after bits of broken glass, as Pralad Maharaj says. You know, we have been going for crumbs when we can have a feast. We have been going in for bits of broken glass when we can have real. Um, jewels of bhakti so why not aim for the highest why settle for less why should we go through this uh, monotonous routine ho hum dry pale tasteless material existence because after some time it pales how much rasgullas can you eat huh yeah. how many places can you go to <laughs> It's all a pretense, you know. People say, yeah. "Oh, we went to this place and we took these pictures," and half the time they have so much problems reaching that place. Then they have more problems staying in that place, and they have bigger problems coming. But they take pictures and post it everywhere as though they had a very good time. We know because we have done that, right? <laughs> we have done all that stuff, and now we can see the difference between our pre-Krishna conscious life and our Krishna conscious life, and we can feel absolutely grateful, delighted. and rejoice in the fact that we have come to the real situation of understanding who we really are and engage in the process of bhakti because this is what we are really meant to do who are you you are eternally part and parcel of god krishna who is satchit anand vigraha who is eternal full of knowledge full of bliss and you are a tiny particle of that same supreme personality of godhead which means you are the same qualities of the lord you are also eternal you are also full of this you are also having all knowledge but right now we are all covered over we have forgotten so much we are amnesia so that's why we keep needing to hear these classes are a way for us to remember who we really are engage in the process of bhakti and reawaken that loving connection with krishna and once we awaken that relationship there's no looking back there's no going back is only ever increasing bliss in krishna consciousness as lord chaitanya says anandam budhi vardhanam cheto darpanam arjanam bhava maha davagni nirvapanam shreya kairava chandrika vitranam vidya vadhu jeevanam anandam budhi vardhanam pratipadam purnamrita swadanam sarvatma snapanam param vijayate shri krishna sankirtana so you see my dear spirit soul we have nothing to lose and everything to gain in fact this is the quickest fastest fast track process for going back home it has never been easier we really have hit the jackpot jackpot yes, yes. <laughs> this is it we have got the best process the quickest process the sweetest most sublime most wonderful most delightful most joyful process and here we are you know in 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 the path of bhakti so let us take full advantage of this process of krishna consciousness let us dive deep let us not be sitting on the banks and twiddling our toes in the water let us go deep into the process of bhakti and let us feel great transcendental bliss and joy tasting the nectar of krishna consciousness of course right now we are still struggling with so many conditionings and anarthas and all it's not so easy adarshada bhajana kriya um, sadhu sanga adarshada sadhu sanga bhajana kriya anartha nivritti nishtha ruchi asakti bhav and prem so yes of course we have a long way to go we are not there yet obviously we are still you know but the good news is that we are getting clean we are getting clean in the shower <laughs> that's the good news and one day we will be pure we will be completely clean and we will have no difficulty in engaging fully and completely in loving transcendental service to krishna which is actually our real position this is who we really are so practicing krishna consciousness always remembering humility tolerance compassion for all living entities trinad api sunichena tarori va sahishnana अमानिना मानदेना कीर्तनीय सदा हरि चैंटिंग द होली वन शुड चैंट द होली नेम ऑफ द लॉर्ड इन अ हंबल स्टेट ऑफ माइंड 
thinking oneself lower than the straw in the street, one should be more and should be ready to offer all respects to others. In such a state of mind, one can chant the holy name of the Lord constantly. So, uh, I just wanted to uh, thank all of you for being patient. I don't know how much you could hear, how much you could see, because we are here in an airport now, and at the connection, I don't know how good it is. But here is Anuradha. And you've gone on mute, Mataji. You're on mute. Satya Bhama, were you able to hear clearly? Yes, it was perfectly fine, Mataji. I was worried that you know it, internet connection, but it was really good. So uh, uh, I'm I'm hope like everyone was able to hear as well. Yes, Mataji. Yes, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Mataji. Hare Thank Hare you so much. Oh, Wonderful Hare class. Fine. Hare Krishna, Rasalika. My humble obeisances to you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mataji. I really enjoyed your company. I was um, very happy with all of you. And I enjoyed a lot. And transcendental um, presence of Guru Maharaj. Just so nice. I'm blessed. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Satyapama Mataji. You helped me. Thank you so much. Thank you for all of your association, Mataji. We're all, you know, so grateful that you joined. Uh, Shidevi Mataji, um, and what do you think uh, for the next plan? Do you think, should, should we have a few questions or uh, do you want to stop it now? Uh, what is the situation? No, no, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll at least five minutes, five. I mean, whoever has questions, I don't want okay. to stop them. We can take questions, a few questions, and then yeah. we can wrap up. Thank you so much, Mataji. Yeah. Thank you. Really grateful that, you know, it's, it's, despite of your situations that you are at the airport, but you managed to log in and give us, you know, such a nice talk. Uh, so amazing. Devotees, if you have any questions, comments, realizations, please unmute yourself and you can ask questions or you can just type in the chat and I'll read it for you. Thank you. Oh. Hare Krishna. Okay. Yeah, any other questions, any comments, any sharings, any realizations, anything else you want Mata to say? Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Beautiful class. My humble is all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you so much for this wonderful class. Beautiful class, beautiful. And uh, Satyapama Mataji, thank you for arranging this class and you yourself in this situation. Thank you so much. A lot of learnings today. And um, uh, and I thank everyone for your uh, for your association in the retreat as well. And I shall continue to be in, uh, to try to log in on the Zoom thank as well. Hare Krishna. Thank, 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 thank you very much for this lovely class. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being online thank and joining you, us and gracing us thank with your you. presence. We remembered you very much at the retreat. Namrita Mataji, you have a question? Hi, Krishna. Please accept yes, my humble Please accept mine. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to Gurudev. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to Guru Maharaj. All of your faces are actually, you know, glowing. So I can understand <laughs> how happy you all are after the retreat. So definitely I can understand. Um, Mataji, my question was, uh, once uh, there was a topic uh, relating this, uh, what, is, what the 522 uh, uh, shloka you said. And uh, it was... Uh, 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 let me, uh, it, it was said that uh, whatever we are holding in uh, in our previous life comes back in the next life. So whatever we are not uh, able to pass through in the previous life, it comes back. And if we are, uh, I mean, in devotional life, uh, whoever, whoever is uh, performing uh, devotion in this life has definitely been performing it in, in the previous life. But, 
Your I voice is you. breaking, Namrata Mataji. Yes, go on. The last line, we missed it. Yeah, go on. We lost Namrata. Yeah, what she's saying, Mataji, Shidevi Mataji, that whoever is performing the devotional service in this life, they must have performed in the previous life as well. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, Namrata Mataji, if you can repeat your question after that. But, but, but they have been uh, stuck somewhere in the devotional uh, life, somewhere in previous life. So, uh, yes. I, I, is it... Uh, I want you to elaborate a little on this. I, I heard this thing, but I wasn't clear on this point very much at that time. Yeah, we are all in that process. You know, we have taken birth again because we didn't complete it in previous lifetime. Whatever point we reached, we are picking up again from that point on. But because we did not complete it, here we are again having taken another birth. And if we do not carefully pull out those anarthas, if we do not really go deep, into our Krishna consciousness and try to see, oh my gosh, what's blocking me? What's preventing me from making advancement? Why am I not moving to the next level? First and foremost, we must understand what level we are at. Then we can aim for the next level. Our activity should be goal-oriented. So we must be very carefully trying to see where my anarthas are blocking me. What is stopping me? And address those things so that we do not continue with that same thing again into the next level. And it is so important that because if we don't, whatever has blocked us in this life, it will continue to keep blocking us until we address it. It is like failing at an exam again and again until you finally learn the lesson properly. Then only you can pass the exam. You see? How do we understand that attachment, uh, Mataji? That is How another and that is the spiritual master who sees the disciple clearly and understands clearly everything because Krishna gives the spiritual ma the spiritual master is divinely empowered by Krishna to take you back home, back to Godhead. So after you accept the spiritual master as disciple, he carefully instructs each and every person according to their biological, psychological, spiritual, everything. I didn't, he knows the disciple through and through and he will carefully instruct you. You have to take care of this. You have to attend to this problem. You have to uh, strengthen this area of weakness. You have to pull out uh, this weed of uh, lust or anger or whatever it is. So the spiritual master is there specifically for this reason, to purify us. So all his chastisements are actually great blessings because by getting chastised, we attend to that area which needs attention and then we make advancements. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mataji. Welcome. Hello, Shri Mataji, do you have time for one more question? Devananda Prabhu has uh, one, one question. Is that okay? Sure, we can take one more question. Why yeah. not? Devananda Prabhu, please. Yeah, you can unmute yourself, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Yes, Shri Mataji, please accept to have obeisances. All glories to Shubhra Kupada. All glories to dear Guru Maharaj. Uh, thank you very much for sharing with us uh, your... Uh, Disciple meetings, uh, uh, Hava, <laughs> you are so recharged, um, and you shared with us this uh, recharging. Uh, from it's Guru all Guru Maharaj's mercy, Prabhu. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, what my question is: Why do I need so often to be recharged? Because without uh, recharging, my uh, fear, my faith, uh, falling down very often. Yeah, Why yeah. do I need so often to be recharged? Maybe yes, this yes. Uh, part is not so natural for, for me. Right. Yeah, because we are so conditioned by the material energy, it is very hard for us to stay plugged in, you know. And we constantly keep falling away from Krishna. <laughs> Srila Prabhupada said, most of the time they are in Maya and sometimes we fall into Krishna. You know, that's our condition. We don't remember Krishna all the time. We are not in thinking of Krishna all the time. We are not remembering Krishna all the time. And therefore, what is what are we doing? We are engaging in other things which are Maya. And so therefore, Prahlad Maharaj says, Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Pada, Sevanam, always remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. Now that's a very elevated stage. At that time, there's no falling down. There's no uh, going low on your battery charge because you're fully plugged in. 
you know right now we are not like that we plug in sometimes we plug out sometimes like that so therefore we are unsteady this is called the unsteady tender creeper of bhakti lata beej is very like tender you know like 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 when you put a little seedling in the ground it's very tender in the beginning therefore we must very carefully nurture and nourish it so that it becomes a strong tree of bhakti so it is natural for us to to uh, fall away feel weak feel discouraged feel disheartened and this is all because of our conditioning what is very important is spiritual association staying in the association of those who are spiritually uh, plugged in you know pure devotees like guru maharaj the shila prabhupad's book staying plugged in will help us to not get caught by the material energy and again you know fall back so spiritual asso- association is very important reading prabhupad's books is very important chanting the holy names with deep attention engaging in the process of bhakti with full absorption these things will help prevent this uh, situation more and more and we all struggle with that we all have to work on it all the time so it's very normal <laughs> and why do i need to be to struggle always struggle because struggle struggle body. because you are in a material body this is a disease condition of life when you finally attain your spiritual body there's no struggle There's only why do I, how do I, can i know that this is this is uh, um, my uh, no the the i'm sick when i'm in maya maybe i am well with, when i'm in maya sorry maybe it's uh, maybe to be in maya is more natural for me maybe to, is to, what uh, so mat prabhu is to, saying to, that to maybe say. being in maya to, is more natural for him <laughs> we are all like that we are so conditioned by the material energy we slip into maya very quickly you know it's the second nature for us but we have to fight against that lower nature and we have to see what is my real welfare do i want to come back again and again to this material world or do i want to go back to the eternal kingdom of bliss we should always be remembering like you know there's a beautiful story of ulysses i don't know whether you have heard of it it's a greek story i'll just give you a quick example and he was told he was a uh, going on a ship and they were warned that on this particular island there are sirens and their sweet singing is so alluring that every sailor gets attracted to going towards that island and the boat crashes and everyone dies they know this legend they know this and ulysses knows that if he passes through there he will also get allured but he doesn't want to get allured so but he still wants to see what is it about these people that is you know so attractive to sailors so he tells all his sailors you all put hot wax into your ears seal up your ears so that you don't hear anything you tie me up to the crow's mast and no matter how much i plead with you to release me don't release me until we pass through those islands and that's what they do and ulysses is crying out because that song is so alluring and so sweet he said telling the sailors but they cannot hear because there's hot wax in there and so they safely pass through that island without getting caught but this is how maya is she's always tempting us with something or the other saying this is very nice why don't you try this that is very nice why don't you try but ultimately where is the real satisfaction or happiness with that it comes to an end so man of intelligence starts thinking where can i find permanent happiness where can i find happiness that never stops and ever increasing where can i find love that is so perfect that i'm fully satisfied and i'm getting more and more love as i'm giving more and more love that place is in our relationship with krishna no other place does that okay? answer your question and uh, devananda prabhu hari krishna Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you. you uh, feel free to talk to Guru Maharaj. He will give you the perfect answer. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shri Devi Mata Ji. Really appreciate and very grateful for your service and you know uh, coming and giving us association and talk. It was really useful and very very nice. Thank you so much. Well, you better uh, talk to Swami Dhatri because she is fuming out there, thinking what Shri Devi is doing. <laughs> 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 I'm holding up the ride. I'm holding up everything. So you better talk to her and say, "Calm down." <laughs> <laughs> she logged in actually, and then she she logged off. <laughs> she was okay. checking out. <laughs> she must be mad at me. I've had to go and pacify her now. <laughs> okay, you can leave now, Mataji. Thank you so much, Jay. 
आग्रेशी देवी माता जी की जय थैंक यू माता जी है Haribol thank you all <laughs>